Hey everyone, so today I am really excited to tell you that I have finally picked out a 2021 planner after weeks and maybe months of looking around and, and doing several reviews and looking at different options daily, weekly, monthly from different places, different styles, budgets, everything. I have selected for myself the 2021 Plum Paper Planner. So. I am really excited about this because it is one of the most, if not the most customizable planners that I have seen. You can add dates and categories. There are a million layout size options. So today I want to walk you through how I customized it, made it online, and then next week I'm going to do an unboxing for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so to begin, I wanna give you a piece of advice if you're thinking about getting a plum paper planner. So I spent weeks, far too long as a matter of fact, hemming and hawing, trying to decide which planner I was going to get. I would look and I would get on and be like, maybe I like this layout, maybe I like that size, maybe I'll do this cover. And then I would be like, oh, I, I can't pick and I would walk away. So their Instagram also was, they have a really nice Instagram and so they are always posting different stories with different layouts and ideas, which is good because it gives you ideas, but it's bad because if you're indecisive, it's really hard to make a decision. So anyway, my advice to you, if you're thinking about customizing a planner is to ask yourself what your intentions are for your planner. So somebody once asked me, do you use your planner to plan what's about to happen or do you like to write down what already happened? And I was like, wow, that's a good question because it made me realize a lot of people use their planners for journaling or writing reflections, gratitude, think three things I'm grateful for, things like that. And I realized that I am more of a planner person where I like to plan versus journal. Not to say I don't like to reflect a little bit in my planner, but I like to plan for the future. So knowing that, knowing what I'm going to need, I'm really into right now making a list of three goals for the day versus like a million to do's. So I know I wanted that in um, my columns or, or my sections, depending on which route I went. So my advice to you is think about what is going to serve you best and what you'll use versus maybe like, oh, that looks really nice. Ask yourself if you're going to use it. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at their website. All right, so when you go to the Plum Paper website, you're gonna see planners, notebooks, accessories, all of those things, but I wanna look at planners, specifically personalized planners. So when you come to the personalized planners page, you will see a small, a medium, and a large size option. I already knew right away the small one was not going to work for me. I just don't tend to favor a small planner. I just don't have enough space for everything I need, so I opted for the large. I went back and forth between the largest and the medium size. The medium is seven by nine, which is a pretty good size planner, um, but I just wanted the most space. And I decided, you know what, if it doesn't work great for me this year, I will downsize for next year. If you scroll down, you can see in the details here that no matter what layout you pick for your weekly, everything is going to be included in this section below. So you get your year at a glance, special dates, which is great. You can put some events or happenings under those columns, ideas, plans, and goals, you can see what your front and your back tabs look like, your monthly spread, you get some dotted notes pages, contacts page, passwords page, and a pocket. All right, so those are all going to be included regardless, or as some people like to say, irregardless of, actually, I heard that they turned that into a word. I heard that this year they made irregardless a word, even though it wasn't a word before. As a side note, just like my husband's blood type, which everyone apparently likes to talk about on the Moleskin video, but anyway, moving right along, um, regardless of which weekly layout you design, you get all of those things that I just mentioned. So this was the area that took me forever. So let me go ahead and show you all of the weekly options. All right, so maybe I lied to you a little bit because we can't look at every single layout. We don't have time for that. There are a million. Look, there are five vertical options, three horizontal options, and there are a few monthly, daily, grid, and teacher layouts, which is just wild how many options there are. So taking a look at the vertical, spoiler alert, this is the one I got, the vertical priorities. I just love this. You'll notice here that where it says your text, you can customize that. So you could put gratitude, you could put quote of the week, you could put um, best thing that happened. You can do whatever you want. It comes with a habit tracker up top, which I'm really excited to use. Try to maybe um, be a little bit more mindful about some of my daily and weekly habits. So we'll see how that goes. And then on the daily columns, you have space to customize three separate sections, two at the top, 
one at the bottom, and then in the middle, there are still a ton of lines for whatever else you need to write down. So I absolutely love this. Now you've heard me talk in other planner videos about how sometimes it's a deal breaker that Saturday and Sunday aren't the same size as the rest of the week, which for me doesn't matter. However, if you like this, but you're thinking to yourself, I really do want Saturday and Sunday to be the same size, there are other options. So I'll just show you a few more real quick. So same vertical, um, but Saturday and Sunday here are the same size as everything else. To me, this is pretty, but it looks like a teacher planner. Like when I taught, I would probably use something like this to have like Monday and I'd put like first period planning, second, third, whatever. So this definitely looks like a teacher planner to me. Great option. They have another one that's similar in the vertical layout where you could break it down like this Saturday and Sunday again, same size. Size. And I saw an example of one like this where it was, what did it say? I believe it said like home, work, family. So you could put different subcategories under your day, which I really like that. And there are so many areas where you can just put your text here and then that way it's completely customized to your life. They also have an hourly, which I'll be honest, I do not like hourly planners way too much for me, but if that's something you like, here is an option of one. Again, Saturday, Sunday, same size. And then lastly, we have vertical columns, Saturday and Sunday, the same size. So actually, I guess my planner is the only vertical option, the one that I chose is the only vertical option where Saturday and Sunday aren't the same size. So, so many great vertical options. Now let's say you're a horizontal person. I went back and forth between the one I chose and then this one, this notes and days. I just love this because I like how there is like the calendar, like, you know, you have your like Monday through Sunday on one side, but that you have space for notes, thoughts, ideas, maybe a journaling, a recap of whatever happened this week. I mentioned earlier, I don't tend to use my planners that way, but like, this is beautiful. So I kind of thought maybe I would want that. So that's a beautiful option. Horizontal priorities is basically mine, but horizontal versus vertical. So you get that habit tracker at the top, you get the days, and again, this is one where Saturday and Sunday share a box versus being um, the same size. So, or they, they, they share one versus being the same size as the rest of the week. But you also get lots of customized lines and boxes here, so that's a great option. And then um, lastly here, you get their two-sided days. And to me, I like this. The only thing that I'll say is that this is like a target planner to me for the cost and for the fact that you get to do so much in terms of making this your own. Like you can just buy this standard looking planner at Target. Just my opinion, beautiful, but that's not what I'm gonna go for. So anyway, I click the customize now and that is the one I selected, the vertical priority. So. It takes me over here to look at my cover and yes, let's go ahead and I will show you some of the cover options. So they have these beautiful, these are pretty in paint themes and they are so lovely. I really like this one that looks kind of florally as I've mentioned a thousand times, you know I love florals, but these tropical ones are really pretty and they also have ones where there are quotes in the middle. So that's really nice that you can think about, you know, maybe this is something that inspires me, something that I wanna look at every time I look at my planner. So many different options, really. I mean, look at all of these. They have tie-dye, abstract floral, florals, bohemian, speckles. The speckles are really cute, love that. Um, they have fun and bright, skipped one, art deco, animal print, forever spring. Oh my gosh, look at the forever spring. See, now I'm having like a little planner regret. Like, should I have gotten this cover? No, I'm kidding. I love my cover, but wow. Like, I just really, really like these. Now, the only thing I don't understand, I'm gonna say right here, is that you have the favorites, and I'll go through these tabs real quick, but there's a seasonal planner. Now, you know me, I love the holidays. Like, look at these Christmas trees. Like, this is such a beautiful cover. It's called Winter Frost, and there's people skiing. But I'm like, if these covers aren't inter interchangeable, I don't think I'd want like the skiing Christmas tree planner cover all year round. So if you already have a plum planner, tell me if your cover is um, interchangeable. I don't think they are, but if they are, that would make a lot more sense to me. If you are a holiday person though, they have some really pretty ones. This is the seasonal Christmas slash winter options, but they also have some, oh, this is cute too. Look at this, the fall -la, 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 la I really like that. They have some fall ones, which these are like, this says fall favorites. These look like a little floral to me, but the autumn ones, like this definitely screams autumn to me. They have Valentine's. See, like who was gonna pick a planner with a Valentine's Day cover year round? Like, I don't know. 
that's just my opinion. So they have those options for seasonal. Florals is like my go-to. I love florals and look at all of these florals. There are eight bajillion florals, not really, but like a lot. So I was back and forth between a bunch, but I ultimately picked this beautiful purple cover with some pink and teal looking, well, they're like the flower and the leaf and the little like buds off the side. And I just thought it was really pretty. So if I do find out that they, these covers are interchangeable, I will probably get a holiday one because I do like that. But otherwise, I think that this cover was gonna be great all year round. All right, so next thing I wanna do is go ahead and click ready to personalize it. And here I have the option to put my name, my initial, my monogram, anything I want. The world is your oyster. And this is another thing on their Instagram. They're like, here are 7,000 ways to personalize your cover. And you're like, oh, I thought I knew what I wanted, but now I don't. At some point, you just have to pick something. So I picked my monogram. So I did it like this. And actually what's really cool is you can go and select different fonts. And some of them, here, I'll just click a few. Some of them are like actual monogram fonts. So if you come down here, it'll tell you this font only supports three, li three letters and one line. So like that's an actual looking monogram or like it looks like an actual monogram. I think though, I just like this really simple look. So that's what I went for. If I had to do it over, I don't know, like maybe I would put my whole name, I don't know, back and forth. But you also can pick what size frame you want and um, what shape. Actually, I take that back, not what size, what shape. So you can do a circle, you could do a square, a rectangle. There are so many different options. And see how there's that little white border? You can have it without that white border too. So like I said, at some point you just have to pick. Now the bottom cover, you can put a quote, you can put your full name. Perhaps you picked one of those covers that had a beautiful motivational quote in the middle. So if you have that there, you're probably not gonna have your initials. So maybe that's where you put your initials or your full name or your first name or whatever at the bottom of the planner. I opted not to put anything here, but I did select the year. So I selected 2021 and that's gonna be at the top. So that little bar right here is not gonna be there on mine. So when I, oh, it says I've skipped a step. See, that's good. It'll, um, it'll tell you if you have skipped something. Oh, I see right here, I have to click none. So I did a select, I didn't want anything at the bottom. So moving along, you choose your layout. So here it has for me the vertical priorities, which is what I had selected before, starting at $42. And the add-ons are where it starts to add a little bit more money. So let's go through and I will show you what I added on after I selected my vertical priorities layout. So when you go to customize your sections, you can select the leave blank, which I'm pretty sure that I, the big box at top, I left that blank because I thought maybe one week I'll wanna put, just maybe I'll like draw something in there or put some planner stickers or a quote or whatever. I didn't wanna to commit to anything. But I do know for a fact that for my, we'll leave that blank, for my, weekly, I think I put habits here. I did order this a few days ago, sorry, I should have written this down. I did do three main goals or three top tasks because I think that's just like a really good way to be productive because sometimes your to-do list gets crazy, but you're like, okay, if I pick three things to do today, I'll get those three things done. And then at the end of the week, Monday through Friday, you've done 15 things. So I think that's just like a really great way to be productive without like overwhelming yourself. So that's one of my goals is just try to focus on a few things instead of make myself crazy with too many things at once. And then underneath that, I think I put for the day events. So I would put my three priorities that I wanna focus on and then any events, appointments, happenings for the day. And then I think the rest is gonna be blank. I guess it'll be a surprise when it comes in the mail, huh? So moving along, I put down here for binding, you, you go to choose your binding and you can do anything you want. You can have this not bound, you could do disc punch, but I just did metal coil. So, yep. And then here, this is wild, you can start your month whenever. So if you want, you can start your month in February. Maybe I should have done that because I'm not gonna get this till the end of January because I ordered late, my fault. But what I did is I selected January and a 12 month planner. But if you wanna add a few extra months to it, you can make it a 13 month planner or a 14 month planner or whatever you want. You can make it all the way up to an 18 month planner. So lots of options with that. Alrighty, so moving along to the holiday options. If I click here, no holidays included, there will be no holidays in my planner. However, if I wanna add holidays and special dates, 
I can do that. I can't imagine why I wouldn't want to put holidays or anything in there, especially because I was like, if you're paying for this custom planner, you're gonna put stuff in there. So the first thing I want to say is here for $5, I click this, add my own special dates. So all of these birthdays are uh, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that are things I added for my own friends and family in my account. And so that's why they're showing up here. If you scroll down, you can see I have seven pages of them, which is a lot of things. And it says here at the bottom, limit to three custom entries per date, which makes sense. You probably can't fit that much more on there. So then here you have your options for country holidays and religious holidays. What's interesting about this for the country is you see right here, limit to one selection. So I live in the US, so I'm going to select the US holiday calendar. Now let's say on here, I don't want tax day, for example, probably should keep that on there. I can uncheck it and save, and you'll see here that 28 out of 29 US holidays will be shown on my calendar. Now, even though you can only have one section there, for religious holidays between Christian, Hindu, Jewish, and Muslim holidays, you could essentially, if you wanted, select all four of these, which is pretty cool, especially if you celebrate um, multiple holidays or you like to just have all holidays on your calendar. Another thing that's pretty cool, I selected to put a few Jewish holidays on there. Um, and if you're like me and you're just like Jewish and you don't need all of these holidays, is that you can like select, you know, which ones you want to keep, just like the US ones. Now, of course, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna unselect Rosh Hashanah. Like, oh, could you imagine? But anyway, you have that option. So I selected some religious holidays from different calendars and the US. So moving along after that, I get to choose my add-ons and there are plenty. So let's take a look at those. With the add-ons, this is another area where I was like, you need to really ask yourself a question of what am I gonna use? So in terms of meal prep, shopping, meal planning, I do that with my family. We sit down once a week and we plan our dinners and we write it and we keep it on a little thing on the fridge. So I'm not gonna have that in my planner. Even though it might look pretty in there, I'm not gonna use that. So I wanted to be really intentional of what I was going to do. So let's say I wanted to see what something looked like though, under home for meals, family, budget, you can go ahead and click on those. And then, you know, you can see what the cost is for how many in terms of quantity that you wanna add. And when you click on them, it will show you right here on the left side under design your layout right here, it will show you what that looks like, right? And one other note is that if you change your mind about anything, you can always go back above here and click edit. So they have some of those options. They have under business, they have, you know, let's say you're into photography, you know, you click here and you can see that right up here, you've got um, some photography uh, pages that you can add on. So, so many different options. They have photography, social media, business tools, under lifestyle, there is fitness, self-care, they have different reflection pages. Now, one thing that I wanted to do is be a little bit more mindful about, you know, reflecting and thinking about good things that have happened and what I want to come. I also wanna definitely start exercising a little bit more, but I wanted to be mindful about what I was putting in the planner and what I thought would be good for both my physical and mental health. So for example, I opted to do the layout that had the habit tracker. So I could say, did I take a walk today? Well, I think that's gonna probably be a little bit better than, yes, right here, my weight overview. I don't think I need to like track how much I weigh. That's not something that I'm interested in doing for myself. Maybe that would be good for somebody who is interested in that, but just thinking to myself, like, what's my goal? My goal is to be more active. Do I need a page for that? No, I don't, but I can do that on my own weekly layout instead. So just really thinking about what you wanna do and what the best way to do that is. So as I said, lots of good fitness ones though. They also have sticker options, which like I'm, probably gonna get stickers from Etsy or Michaels or some other planner Instagrams that I follow. But they have so many options, so many add-ons. They have teacher add-ons, they have student add-ons, and you all know how I feel about note pages. <laughs> I need to have lots of note pages. So you can put lined, dotted, or tabbed, or I'm sorry, lined, dotted, or blank pages in the back, and you can have as many as, oh my God, 100 additional line pages. I mean, you're essentially attaching a notebook to the back of that. The only thing I'll say is I can't imagine how thick that would be if you have a full planner with weeks, months, and then you put 100 pages on the back. I'd be really curious. If anybody has a planner like that, let me know. I wanna see, I wanna see how thick that is. That's probably pretty crazy. 
And then they have some areas in the back if you want coloring pages, just, you know, for fun. Like that's pretty cool. Like one of those like adult coloring book style pages, scrap, scrapbook pages, so many options. And as I mentioned, there are also sticker options. So, you know, you can have some baby stickers. They have some seasonal stickers like winter. Those are really cute. They have some summer ones. So lots of sticker options as well. And then at the end, I did decide to add one page per protector just in case there's anything that I wanted to put in there. So here we go. I am all done. So I'm going to click the all done button and it will ask you here to approve. And that would probably be a good time to go through and make sure you spelled everything right. Your, your layout is exactly how you wanted it. And then I approved and added it to cart and I ordered it. My only complaint about the website, I mean, it's a really good website is that somebody gave me their referral link um, so that I could buy from them and like get 10% off. And then they, I think get $10 or 10% off, they get something too and I don't think it worked. I tried it a few times. That's my only complaint about the website. I know that for other planners, if there are referral links, sometimes instead of just a link, you get a code. And I think that that's a lot better because then there are two options and putting a coupon code in a box, you can ensure that you're getting your 10% off and the person is getting their referral code or their referral benefits or whatever it is. So. All that being said, I would rate their website a 9.5 out of 10, so it was really good. And um, the planner should be here in two days, so I am really excited about that. All right, so there you have it. I had designed, and finally even more than that, decided on my 2021 planner after months of back and forth and hemming and hawing. I looked at a lot of really beautiful planners and there are a lot of great options out there, even at Target, Staples, um, ordering online. There are so many great things, but I really am excited to try this. I know friends who have tried the Plum Paper planners before, and so giving it a shot this time, I just can't wait to see something come with my name printed on it and my birthdays, like the birthdays and anniversaries of my friends and family. I just think it's going to be really beautiful and customized really well. So I'm just excited to get it. After I put it all together and I added add-ons and customized it and paid for taxes and shipping, it came to around $70, which is a really pricey planner in my opinion, but I'm always a person that, you know, like I don't think I've bought clothes in I, I don't really even remember when I bought sneakers for myself in the summer because my old ones were falling apart. So like, you know, Everyone has their thing that they like to spend money on. And for me, buying a planner that's a little bit more pricey that will last me for a full year is something that I don't mind doing. So I understand that maybe not everyone wants to spend $70 on a planner, but for me, it was okay. Hopefully next time I'll be able to use that coupon code. Um, but that is all. So you'll have to let me know if it's the end of January, if you've decided on your planner, hopefully you've already sort of like moved into your planner and you're using it and it's going well. Um, but if you're still looking for a planner, you'll have to check out Plum Paper and I cannot wait to unbox this. It should be here in two days. I've checked the tracking like 9,000 times um, and it'll, yeah, it'll be here soon. So I'm really excited to do the unboxing video for all of you. So yes, well, happy new year to all of you as well. Hopefully your January has been off to a relatively good start and I hope you enjoyed this. So if you did and you like following along with all of my planners and everything like that, I hope you'll consider subscribing or liking or leaving a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next time.